Hey fellow tennis nerds, I've been trying several extended length rackets recently, so called long bodies. Thanks to longbodies.com that only sell extended length rackets 27.25 inches or 27.5 inches to be exact. The rackets I've tried are the Pure Aero VS, Yonex ESO 98, the Head Gravity MP and the Phantom 100 X. Oh, with the O ports, uh, so very flexible and comfortable frame. Uh, so let's first look at some pros and cons of playing with XL rackets. Uh, there are a few pros playing with XL rackets on the tour. Uh, quite a few of them. That's Kini Shikori, Diago Schwartzman, Pablo Cuevas, and Jill Simon, to name a few on the ATP side. And on the women's side, we have Serena Williams and Elena Svitolina. And I'm sure quite a few others. Regular length rackets are still the most popular. Extended length rackets mainly come in three different lengths. 27.25 inches, 27.5 inches and 28 inches. The longer the racket, the higher the swing weight and the better the reach. Uh, there are other benefits of XL rackets. You get a higher swing weight, means better stability and more plow through. You get a higher contact point on serves for more power as well and a slightly better reach. There are some downsides of XL rackets. They're less arm friendly than regular length rackets. They're heavier to swing and they're less maneuverable. So that's why an extended length racket can benefit a flat and hard hitter like Serena Williams. But not if you use a lot of topspin on your shot because it's going to be difficult to get the proper racket head speed with an extended length racket and the higher swing weight, at least for most players. And so if you're a flat hitter and you like a lot of plow through and you need a bit of extra reach on your serve, I think an extended length racket could be a good choice. I tried four different rackets, as I said, the Bablat Pure Aero VS, the Yonex ESO 98 and the Head Gravity MP Lite and a Phantom 100X. O port version. They were all extended by Ring and Roll, a customizer from Germany that has done some other frames for my tests. They were all strung with head links tore at 24 kilos, around 53 pounds, to make sure we had a really proper comparison for this test of Excel frames. Just a note on extending rackets, there, it's not really an easy thing to do. You need to be a professional customizer to really get it properly done, or at least be very, very handy and get, have some proper tools. Uh, there is a so-called XTP butt cap you can buy and it does not take as much work to install but it protrudes a bit and adds a build up to the grip which is not exactly the same as getting this, uh, getting a professional to do it so you can obviously check that out but it's not gonna be the, exactly the same results. So I enjoyed playing with all of these four rackets and I wanna go through them uh, bit by bit. Let's start with the Bablat Pure Aero VS. This is the only racket I haven't tested in the normal length. I'm really waiting for a demo and I really like this one. So that makes me curious about the demo. This was the extended length racket I liked the most in this test. It, had, uh, it was a bit easier to swing than the other frames for some reason. It handled the flatter shots really well, better than uh, the Pure Aero VS, the previous version I tried. But it still allowed me to put plenty of spin on my shots. So it was also relatively maneuverable for the swing weight and really a, a fun racket to use. The unstrung specs were 300 grams, 32.5 centimeter balance, a 305 swing weight. And when I strung it, 319 grams, 33.6 centimeter balance, and a 340 swing weight. And that's usually, you usually get around 340 when you extend a racket. Uh, it's a stiff frame, this. I did notice some tenderness in my wrist and elbow after playing with it for a while. But um, obviously I, I strung it with a full bed of poly, so it's not your arm's best friend. But I really like this from all areas of the court. I could really swing out. It was quite powerful. Uh, so that is an issue if you like more control oriented frame. But I still felt like I was more connected to the ball with the Pure Aero VS than I am with the regular Pure Aero. Uh, but it seems to suffer perhaps from some of the issues that plague the Pure Drive VS uh, with some instability and um, need of lead tape. Uh, but this one, as since it was extended, played pretty stable anyway. And I really had a good time with this frame. It was the most enjoyable of all these four rackets because I could get the best results out of it. I could swing through much easier with the pure arrow, maybe because of the arrow beam uh, or slightly lower specs than some of the other frames. If it wasn't uh, as stiff as it is, I could have uh, really thought of switching to this frame and I would be considering an extended length racket in the future at some point. But um, just a little bit stiff on impact with a full bed of poly, otherwise just a great playtest. 
I really could notice it on serves where I could get a lot of extra power compared to my regular racket of choice. And I could also place, you know, skidding slices, be a very aggressive, hit through on my forehand. It's a little bit more cumbersome than a regular length version, as I said. And I did notice that, but it wasn't as clear as it was with a few of the other rackets. I also tested the ESO 98. Uh, this I could compare because I tried the prototype a while ago. Really liked that one that had pretty easy power. This one has a lot of power because the swing weight gets above 340. So it's a really powerful frame. Uh, swing weight is 10, 20 points higher than the standard length version. So it was much more difficult for me to generate the needed topspin when I was flattening out the ball and really going for my shots. It worked really well and it was a bit more uh, arm friendly than the pure aero VS I thought. But still, um, I felt like I could whip through the ball easier with the pure arrow than this one. But it's an equally big weapon on serve and flatter shots. So if that's your cup of tea, I think uh, this Yonex could be very interesting. They usually do create an Excel version of the ESO 98 and 100. So be sure to watch out for that one if you're interested in extended frames. Then you can just buy the retail version and you don't have to do any customization or send it for customization yourself. Next up was the Head Gravity MP Lite. Uh, they chose the light version of the Gravity MP, which is just a lower weight version, because otherwise if you add weight to the regular Gravity MP, it's gonna be too uh, much uh, to handle, too high swing weight, so they used the light version. I like this racket a lot too, actually, and it's uh, the best feeling racket of the bunch. I felt the most connected to this one uh, on my shots. I got all the plow through and power I needed and the juice on serve was a bit tougher to play with topspin, similar to the E-Zone. But in all other aspects, this racket played really nice. Definitely a lot more comfortable and plush than the E-Zone 98 and the Pure Arrow VS. So this one is a good choice. If you need to extend the racket, I, I do like the Head Gravity MP Lite a lot. It does seem to be the racket that makes most sense uh, out of all these to be an extended length frame. It just has that natural feel and plow through that um, just seems to suit this gravity lineup really well. Last but not least in a way was the Prince Phantom 100X with O ports. Rackets with O ports are a bit of an acquired taste to me. If you don't know what O ports are, they're the more open holes on some Prince frames. It's a technology that really mutes the racket. It's very, very comfortable, but it also creates kind of a disconnect with the ball in my personal opinion. Some players really love them. Uh, David Ferrer used to play with these, there are a few other pros that really like O-Ports but for me they are just a bit too muted and you need the racket to be a pretty high weight because otherwise there is a, a lack of stability at least, that's what I feel about these. Uh, this one is more stable than most O-Port rackets but it did lack some uh, plow through and stability compared to the other frames I tested and this one was also the heaviest of the bunch, although a bit more head light of course but I still felt like it should have more stability and more plow through for an extended length racket. The feel was great, the comfort was also brilliant, uh, really top notch there, but just didn't have that kind of performance that I'm looking for for an extended length racket. Yes, the serve was better than the standard O-port version, the stability was also better, but then it was a little bit more cumbersome to get around, so I didn't feel like the trade-off was as good here as with the gravity, for example. So a good racket, but not really as stable and as with as much plow through as I would like from an extended length frame. So to summarize, I really enjoy playtesting all of these Excel rackets. A lot of fun comparing them to the standard length version. It was also a lot of fun trying the new Pure Aero VS. This playtest really made me curious about the standard length version and I hope to get a proper demo of that one soon. Uh, I never really thought of committing to an XL racket to be honest, but this playtest and review made me reconsider a little bit. It could actually work pretty well for my game, help my serve a little bit and um, give me a bit more power on my ground strokes. Also I'm not the tallest guy so I think that could help a bit as well. The only thing that would concern me is the maneuverability and the ability to get more topspin on your shots which is something I'm working on right now. But uh, really interesting playtest, I really liked all of these frames in an extended length. I prefer the Pure Aero VS and the Gravity MP of all of them. Uh, the other two played nicely too, but uh, those are my top two contenders of these four frames. If you want to buy these or other extended length frames, you can check out longbodies.com. They were nice enough to send me these demos. 
and they have a bunch of different models as well you can choose from but they only sell extended length frames but if you're really keen and want to give it a try check out longbodies.com there are also retail rackets that are extended from the get-go you can find a list of them of the currently available ones on tennisner.net and I really recommend you to try an Excel frame. It's good to know what it can do to your game. If it might be a good idea to switch or not, at least you would know what difference that slight extension could make. I think that could be a very interesting play test. If you've tried extended length rackets and you have your opinions, please write them in the comments below. I also appreciate every like, share and subscribe to this channel. Also check out Tennis Nerd on TennisNerd.net, Instagram at TennisNerdInsta. We are also on Facebook and Twitter. If you want more content like this, check out our Patreon page at patreon.com slash tennis nerd. And if you don't know what racket would suit you, I have a racket consultation service in the tennis nerd shop where you can get a proper racket and string consultation, where you get a few ideas on what rackets could suit your style, level of play, injury history and so on. I've only received good reviews for that so far, so I'm really happy about it. I'm happy to work with players and try to help them maximize their game through gear. That's all for now. Have a nice day and don't forget to play some tennis.